Hello, good day viewers. Uh, welcome to another Pyrot presentation. This is your presenter, Mr. Mlenga. So in this presentation, we are going to answer a question that came in 2015, Pyrot paper 2, from the topic soil. So here is our question 1. So we have question A and B. Our question A reads, describe the importance of the factors that make soil fertile. So before we describe the importance of the factors that make the soil fertile, we need to understand what soil fertility is. So soil fertility simply means it's the ability of the soil to support plant growth by providing essential nutrients. So once these nutrients are being provided to, to a plant, they are going to allow a plant to be able to grow health. Okay? So... Let us see how we can answer this question. Okay, so we are answering question A. Describe the importance of the factors that make the soil fertility. So I've said uh, soil fertility is the ability of the soil to support plant growth by providing essential nutrients. Okay, water and oxygen. So here we now look at the factors that make the soil fertile. So the factors that make the soil fertile, we have organic matter. We have soil texture, the soil pH, the soil structure, uh, nutrient availability, and the water holding capacity. These are some of the factors that make the soil fertile. So, um, when you look at the organic matter, under organic matter, it's able to make the soil fertile in different ways. Number one, it makes the soil to be fertile through nutrient source meaning that it provides nutrients to the soil also it also allows the soil to be fertile by providing so a very good soil structure and also by ensuring that the soil is very health that is just under the organic matter so this organic matter you'll be able to see that through the decomposition of plants and animals they provide essential nutrients like nitrogen phosphorus and the potassium and this improves now the soil structure by enhancing water retention and the aeration. Okay. Apart from that, we look at the soil texture. So under the soil texture, that's where we find that the, we are going to have water retention, where we are going to have the proportion of sand, uh, silt, and the clay particles that affect the water retention and the drainage. So when we have a balanced texture, it allows for adequate water holding capacity without water or tea logging meaning that the soil has to be able to hold water so that we won't be losing much too much water for example when you look at some uh, loam soil it's the one that is mostly ideal okay so apart from that you also look at nutrient availability so the soil texture it also influences the nutrient available and the lynching okay so under the soil ph you may find that this soil pH it will determine the availability of nutrients to plants. So that is the, the pH levels of 6 and what, 7. And most plants they prefer a slightly acidic pH. So here we can now write our answer by starting to define what soil fertility is. Okay. So we can say that soil fertility, soil fertility, sorry, is the ability of soil to support plant growth by providing essential nutrients water and the oxygen the factors that make soil fertile includes we have organic matter we also have soil texture we also have the soil ph we also have the soil structure we also have the nutrient availability and we also have water holding capacity so organic matter provides nutrients and improves the soil structure through decomposition of plant and animal material. Soil texture refers to the proportion of sand, silt, and clay particles in the soil. Soil texture is important for water retention, such as the loam soils, and it also allows for plant roots to penetrate deeper into the soil, accessing more nutrients and water. Nutrient availability such as nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, 
and micronutrients. They stimulate the plant growth and allows the plant to be able to grow in a healthy state. Apart from that, when you look at the water holding capacity, it gives the soil the ability to retain moisture for plant use, which is very essential for preventing nutrients lynching and ensuring that a plant hydration. Okay. Apart from that, we can have uh, the pH level. So under the pH level, this will determine now the, it, um, the pH level that is in the soil. It determines the availability of uh, nutrients to plants. And most plants, they prefer a slightly acidic water pH. So this is how we can answer this question, okay? And you get your 8 marks. So I do hope that it's clear. You have gotten something, okay? So make sure that you write your essay in such a, a manner. That's when you are going to accumulate all the eight marks, okay? So we have now answered our question. We have answered our question A. We now move on to our question B, okay? So we are now moving on to our question B. Make sure that if you have any question, you are free to ask. Or if you have any additions, please leave a comment in the comment section. I will be able to respond to you. So let's now move on to our question B. Our question B reads, explain how soil fertility can be maintained. Explain how soil fertility can be maintained. So soil fertility can be maintained by different ways. Number one, through crop rotation. Number two, through cover crops. Number three, through compost. Number four, by applying green manure crops. So when rotating the crops, this helps now to prevent nutrient depletion. It also reduces the pest and disease problems. The planting cover crops during off seasons it can also improve soil structure and add organic matter and suppress the weeds. Composting organic waste, meaning that when we apply uh, some uh, compost, okay, this can produce nutrient-rich fertilizer for your soil. Okay. Apart from that, when we apply green manure crops into the soil, it can also add organic matter and nitrogen. So here, we can now look at how we can write our essay. So we can write our essay by starting with so fertility can be maintained by crop rotation, covering crops through compost, and applying green manure. Rotating crops helps to prevent nutrient depletion, reduce pest and disease problems. Then planting uh, cover crops during off seasons can improve soil structure add organic matter and suppress weeds. Composting organic waste can produce nutrient-rich fertilizer for your soil. Applying green manure crops into the soil it can add organic matter and nitrogen. So this is how we can answer our question B and you are going to score all the four marks that has been given. Okay? So I hope it's clear. You have gotten one or two things. If you have any question, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Or any additions, I'll be able to respond to your comment. So we've now come to the end of our session. Thank you so much, everybody, for having time to view this content. This has been your presenter, Mr. Mlenga. Bye-bye.